looking good so far hello everyone welcome back to the channel sagit net 2 today's episode i'll be doing a k24 diy head recondition knowing that the cylinder head is good as far as like the flatness is concerned i don't have to uh, bring this to a machine shop and get it resurfaced it's something that I always wanted. I try not to bring my parts to any machine shop if I can. I try to keep it in the house if I can. The only thing I need to do is remove the valves and, and check how many valves are bent. But no worries on the valve. I already have a uh, replacement for it. I got five of those. So if there's any more than one that is no good, everything is taken care of i have all the parts on the cylinder head so we do have a go i just need to aim it on there like so and give it a whack and i'll make sure that all these valves will go back to the same place Go back to the same place where it came from. I'm not sure if the springs are two different things. I see that they all painted red. Uh, the intake is painted red also. But for some new beginners, Pay attention on the uh, on the coil. See, this one is much tighter than the top, so make sure that this is always facing down. Yeah, you don't want to install it backwards. Did I just damage that one? Oh man, I think it's all rusted. Oh shit. <laughs> I think I better remove the uh, the valves on the on the exhaust. The rust is getting stuck on there. All right, let's go. I'll go ahead and remove them. All right, this is for the number four. Oh wow. Uh, okay, let me see. Let's spray some lubricant. need to rotate okay uh, I don't wanna damage the uh, the guides. And also, I don't want to rip the uh, the bulb stem seal. Okay, let's bring it back a little bit. Hmm. No bueno. Ok. 
okay so this is on number four intake this is on the forward side there yeah i think it's best if i uh pull man yeah all right Whew. oh man all right that's good that's all it takes <laughs> that one's not all right okay uh oh It's nasty. All right, I need this one. It's number one. Number two. Number three. Item four. And I should have not waited longer, man. Look at that. I really need to clean this up quick. Yeah, before the uh, corrosion eat up the uh, seats. And something that I don't like. But uh, are you guys ready? <laughs> Check this out. See how many valves are no good. Man, I thought I was growing a mushroom here, man. Dang. Yeah. Look at this one right here. Man. How do you like that? Yeah. The intakes are all good. But the exhaust valves man i should have gotten like more than three now i have to go back today is saturday hopefully the one that i uh, got this from it's still there and no one has messed around with the uh <laughs> the head and i'm gonna go back in there real quick and get those look at that man i thought i was growing a mushroom here man this thing have been very interesting so far uh, now I'm asking myself is it really worth it to give this K24 a second life <laughs> I just remembered what uh, Matt have told me when I picked this up yep it's gonna be a journey it sure is it will be it's not about finding if K is the way uh, for me now I think what matters to me now is what's along the way. <laughs> it's, it's a journey, man. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> All right. I'm getting a kick out of this, man. <laughs> this thing has been throwing a curveball on me, but that's okay. Uh, there's always a solution. It's a little bit dark now and already know what i need to uh, do on this head get some parts maybe i should go back uh, to the junkyard tomorrow and see if the cylinder head is still there and grab the rest of them in the meantime i need to uh, clean those rust off the uh, seats before it will do some damage on the seats so far it's been interesting it's my journey on the way to find out if K is the way. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys on the next. Bye everyone. Later.
<laughs> wow, unreal. <laughs> we don't want that rust to get on that seat. Cool.